Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator. And today I am going to redo a flight that I did a day or two ago flying the Cessna 152 to Lake Ridge from KRDU Raleigh Durham International. Now, I'm redoing this flight because the other flight was a disaster. Um, I think I may have, well, I had some technical issues with the computer and with the, the flight sim. Also have done some work on my hat button, so hopefully I can get it to move around where I can see stuff. Uh-oh, I just zoomed in and I don't know if I can zoom out. Huh. So, so yeah, I'm going to make this flight zoomed in. Um, I zoomed in before and I, I wish I could figure out how to, anyway, not going there. All right, so let's get started and get on the tarm get on the um, taxiway, the runway and make it out of here. All right, so I know you guys just love to see me get started. So I'm gonna give you that opportunity. Mags are cold, um, brakes are set, fear is, on trim is set to take off and beacon light is on main battery is on fuel quantity looks good and let's prime it a couple of times this is mainly for immersion it, um, it will crank without priming it. All right, and let's go ahead and, and mixture, make the mixture for rich. Crack the throttle, clear prop, and nobody, it's on the left, and nobody's on the right. Of course, this was a lot faster when I could glance right and left, but I didn't have the the fine control that I wanted. Okay, max are hot. Clear prop. And we got a good start. Oil pressure is coming up. It's in the white. And oil pressure is in the green. All right. Okay. So uh, let's get our ATIS. 128, 123.8 for KRDU. Uh, let's see. So that's, that's 8. Both on and I guess we need to finish getting the aircraft started. All right, so I just turned on the alternator and didn't see anything change. Let's see if the switch is working. Okay, the switch is working. And see field or temp, and so I were. I think that's on the co-pilot side. Oh man, so my buttons that I don't know how to jump over to the co-pilot side. But alternators alive. Let's turn avionics on and they are on and let's just so we got both on and what help if we flip it in there <laughs> all right <laughs> kilo
All right, so I got three zero one two. Yeah, I can turn two off. Make sure one is engaged. Three zero one two. All right, and let's get out of here. So we're not gonna do the radio calls, um, or nor are we gonna. Well, I guess we do have ATC um, that we can play around with. Ah, let's not do that. Let's just do the flight. That's the plan. All right. So I'm over at General Aviation, and my building should be over here. Yep, yep. So the runway should be on my right. I mean the taxiway and the runway for that matter. Come on, hat button. This is not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. All right. So let's release our brake. Brake check. And we're going to taxi up to runway five right and take off on five right. Oh, we just careened into somebody like they got an accident there on the taxiway. Just they bring the forklift, they, they, they move them out of the way. And I guess I can get rid of this guy. got roughly a half mile taxi or so. So I'm just gonna be quiet and speed things up. All right, we're holding short at runway five right and looking for a landing traffic. Don't see any and we are going to take off. So we're gonna put some flaps in, 10, 10 degrees of flaps set and check out compass. Make sure that's aligned. Landing lights can come on. Strobe lights can come on. And taxi lights can go off. And we're taking the runway. Found a check for traffic.
and again this is palletage so we uh, I think the last flight may have been was it night I don't think so all right without delay four power coming in Sixty, rotate, and we're wheels up. Get trimmed here a little bit. So flaps and come in. And we're gonna follow the road. I was watching somebody's video today and he said I fly IFR. I follow roads. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Alright. So 1500 is going to be our cruising altitude. And now we're doing a lot of gyrating, but our winds were 049 at 14, so we do have some winds to contend with. All right, this is the road we want to follow. So we do have some turbulent air. Trimmed up a little bit more. And let's get our road in sight. Okay, I think that's it. Make sure we ain't we didn't do a we didn't clear that turn. But one thing that we can't that's really hard to do in a sim is follow correct procedures like doing clearing turns and that kind of stuff. And I'm having a field day with this hat button. But still, this flight's a lot better than the other one that I took. All right, so I'm about to burn out my engines. Let's see, I got it. I got it right on the line. Let's pull it back to about 20, 23, 24. Let it descend to to 1500 and try and level out. Okay, feed off the feed off the uh, rudders without oh that p p factor that p torque on the prop. I don't need to to um, stand on that rudder. All right, so I've driven this road multiple times, and to be honest with you, I, it's really hard to identify anything on it. Um, this guy here is a, in real life is a water tower, and. Let 
This building exists in real life and it's the right shape and it's the right color. I tend to use this as one of my landmarks when I'm making this flight. So once I get to this building, I want to turn to 030. And let's go ahead and make that turn now and that should point me right towards 8NC8. So far, so good. And the pattern for 8NC8 is 13. Check my RPMs. And I'm going to turn the yoke on for, for all the good it does. I can't see the yoke and out the window. Okay. So, go ahead and start my descent down to 13, which is only 200 feet. Now, there are two ways to get down. I could take the speed, or I can pull back on the power. Okay, I want to keep it in the green. If I'm if I move out of the green, I need to apply carb heat. All right, there's my cruise. So, winds were zero four nine at fourteen. So I'm going to land on three two. Um, my plan is to to set up for a a entry on the 45 for runway 32 left side left traffic okay so at this point i want to find my airport now i know from experience that well that the airport is between two bridges and I've got this bridge which is Interstate 85 and then I got a bridge over here I'm not sure what this bridge is but I know the airport is between these two points and the airport should be about right here okay so once I get up to this clearing, um, maybe up a little bit past it, then I can turn. Then I can make my inbound turn to Lake Ridge, and I should be about three miles out um, to get into that pattern. Keeping a check on my RPMs. All right, so now I can actually start that turn. And of course, I make that radio call, which would go something like late ridge traffic, uh, Cessna. I don't, even, I don't even know what color I am here. Late ridge traffic, red and white Cessna. 
is on the 45, three miles out for runway 32, left traffic, Lake Ridge. All right, so I see my airport right there. I'm getting a little low. back up to altitude or get as close to it as we can. And look for look for traffic. So I would look for traffic, but all right, Lake Ridge traffic um, red and white Cessna is on downwind runway Three two left traffic Lake Ridge. Okay, so it's kind of hard to. All right, so let's apply that carb heat and power back to to fifteen or seventeen. I think I think it's 15 and the 152 and see if we can't trim for 500 foot a minute decent decent and 60 good on the speed late ridge uh, late, uh, late ridge traffic Red and white Cessna is turning base, runway, turning left base, runway 32, full stop, Lake Ridge. Okay. The power here. Take a looks peek out the window. Uh, if we can get our hat button. To give us that looks peak and we may be overshooting um, that's why I want to see the runway there it is all right so we on base looks like we are doing good a little slow here Lake Ridge traffic, Skyhawk, uh, not Skyhawk, Cessna 175 Foxtrot Whiskey, red and white is on final runway 32, full stop Lake Ridge. I tend to use my call sign rather than the color uh, because I fly so many aircraft and I want to get myself in the habit of being able Okay, get some flaps in. I want to get myself in the habit of being able to actually let me get trim for 60, 65. Let's do a stirrup cockpit. Alright, my power is all the way out now. Bring it in a little bit. Another notch of flaps. I'm going to drag it in at about 55 or 60. I'm not your flaps. Looking good. All right, hold it off. 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 And we are down. All right. Some dynamic braking here. And we're 
can make a left turn either before this puddle or after it. That looked like a puddle. After the puddle. And just a little color differentiation in the grass. All right. And we are in. So let's park. All right, so I got to give it up. This flight was a lot better than the other one. Let me get all my flaps in, get my landing lights turned off, my strobes off, power out, and we're shut down with slim, uh, which is switches, everything except the beacon which can stay on lean ignition mixture and max that's next and we are done so quick flight from KRDU to Let's see how you get rid of this. Uh, continue. Does that do it? Continue. Yeah. Um, shit, shut off. There it is. All right. Yeah, quick flight from KRDU to um, to Lake Ridge, 8 NC8. And I just had to redo that flight that I posted earlier because... Um, I thought two or three times about posting it. it. It was so shameful. Anyway, guys, don't want this, this video to drag on, so y'all know what to do. Like and subscribe. Y'all come back now. Cheers.